Hi, I'm Steph, and this is my friend Jason. We are actually here at Cascade Lake again. This is my third time here, and we are going to kayak, and the water level is really high, so I'm excited. I think we'll be able to get through to the chain of lakes, um, so we'll be able to do three lakes today, which is awesome. Um, but the special thing about today is we actually put this kayak on the roof of this CRV today. Um, so we car topped the hard shell kayak for the very first time um, and it was a exciting journey to kind of learn all about that. So this is the hard shell kayak that we got a couple months ago um, for 250 bucks from Sam's and um, we didn't expect to travel with it but we've actually taken out taken it out three times so far. Twice we put it in a car to travel with it and so this is the first time we put it on top of a car. So um, Jason's going to try out this kayak today. I'm going to use my new or you kayak inlet and if you're wondering new I thought you had one that's a, a whole nother video um, I didn't even have mine a year and now I have a new one again I will explain that in another video but today let's get out in the water and do some paddling you ready and he's off One thing I'm testing today is Apple just updated the Apple Watch. They updated their compass and they enabled a new feature called uh, trackback where you can trace your steps back to a place. So I set it to start. Uh, you can see like a little line uh, because to get back to Cascade Lake, we got lost. Me and Stephanie, the first time we did it, uh, we got our way back, obviously, but um, it's, you know, it's not really distinguishable. So I'm hoping the track back feature will work. There's also a waypoint where I can mark a location, um, which I did for this location as well. So we'll see how that works. And fun fact, Jason over there, he actually works for Apple. That's where we met many, many years ago. I used to work for Apple. And so we both are big Apple fans. So Jason, you just made it through the tunnel to the other lakes. What do you think? What's that little den in Harry Potter with all the spiders? Forbidden Forest. That's the Forbidden Forest? It was. Okay, lots of spiders. There was a giant spider. I didn't think I should point that out. Oh, I saw it. You saw it? It was, it was a, very much alive. So last time I used this hard shell kayak, I talked about how the foot pegs, um, the foot rest here did not, my feet would come off. You can see Jason's feet are coming off a little bit. Um, so I actually came up with this idea to um, put a pool noodle with a PVC pipe inside and then um, have some fabric around it with Velcro so that this could be washed easily. And then it just fits right here between and it gives you a nice place to put your feet. Okay, so we're on our way back, so I'm gonna click pause on here, and then I'm gonna say retrace steps. And so we'll see how it tells me to get back. Yeah, I think this was the path back. So I'm gonna go through here. So there's two features on the Apple Watch that I'm talking about. There is track back, which will trace your steps back to where you were, and then there's waypoint, which is where you can like find a particular location. So that red dot is my waypoint, which is right over where we are. Okay, so I think I found it. Yep, there's the bridge. Okay, so I have to say that the trace back worked pretty well. It takes a little bit of getting used to to like know exactly what you're looking at. Um, and again, it may work differently when you're on the water versus on land. I, I think this is great, especially if you're just lost direction wise, this is definitely gonna show you which way to go. So we are back here at the bridge. We made it. And here we are. Back 
out. Now this was more of a wild paddle. Um, I consider wild paddles ones where we might go through some mucky areas or some brush areas. So I did bring an extra paddle. Always a good idea to have an extra paddle amongst your group in case something happens to someone's paddle. I've actually luckily never had anything happen to a paddle while we've been paddling, but you never know. So it's always good to have an extra one. So I have that with me. And I also have a saw that is used for cutting down limbs. So there's some areas back there that I probably could have cut a little bit to help future kayakers through here. So I probably will do that in the future, uh, but it just helps prune up the trees a little bit so that you have some space to get through. So I actually keep a little checklist of things to bring so I don't forget now because I have twice now forgotten forgotten paddles completely not let alone an extra just any paddle so I have a checklist to remind me of the essential things to bring when I am kayaking in different conditions So we just finished our paddle and we got the kayak back on the roof. So uh, success with our first um, hard shell on the car trip. So Jason, you were in the hard shell. Yep. What did you think about the, the kayak? Cause it's a $250 kayak. It's a pretty inexpensive kayak. It's not much different than the much more expensive kayaks I've uh, rented and been in. So I don't think anyone should hesitate if they don't mind the shorter size and maybe slightly slower. I think it's definitely worth it. I also wanted to mention that the backtrack feature on the Apple Watch was very cool. Um, I was able to find my way back. It takes a little bit of getting used to, so if you use this feature, I would use it somewhere you know first before you go out somewhere you don't know. Uh, but it worked really well. I was able to find my way back, and I'm excited to have this as part of my watch and just try it on all the paddles to see um, if I can find my way back. Usually. I we don't have a huge issue, especially if it's just a, you know, a lake where you can see the landing, but this is a great place to use that new feature. And the waypoint really pointed to the exact location I needed to go. So highly recommend um, the new features on the Apple Watch. All right, thanks for joining and have a great day.